Well, now we're in the Peacock Drama Room and talking to two young people who are involved with the upcoming musical production of 42nd Street. And I have Austin Legassi with me and Rebecca Pierce. Welcome, you guys. Oh, I'm very glad to be here. <laughs> now, uh, Austin, you're being the grade 12 and the veteran here. Uh, tell me about this musical that you're going to be doing. Well, it's, um, it's a musical about a musical. It's um, taking place, uh, it's kind of like a trial of a musical. Mm -hmm. They go on the road and they show it off a few different places and then they take it to Broadway and uh, perform. And it shows the behind scenes of Peggy um, being just a dancer girl. She's in the chorus and she's just, I really want to be a dancer kind of thing, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have our Dorothy Brox doing the lead role and she is, oh, I'm so great and um, I think, yeah, she's a diva for sure. And uh, it's a just really cool way of a Broadway behind a Broadway. How do you fit into this story? Uh, I'm Mac, the stage manager. Oh, yeah. So I, uh, I get to sass people up so That'd someone's not doing anything. You. Pardon? That'd be hard for you. Yeah, I'm not, I don't like to yell at people a lot so uh, everyone gives me funny looks when I yell at them. Yeah. It's, it's different, That's it's different. Sweet. So, Rebecca, uh, you know, you're only in grade 10? Yeah. And this is your first piece got musical to do? Second. What did you do last year? My Fair Lady. And what were you? I was one of the Servants Chorus and Ensemble. Okay. Now, but you've also done theater before this, outside of school even. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had a big musical theater class on my old dance studios, which we did a lot of productions like Peter Pan and all those kind of Disney stories. And then I've been involved with Rhubarb for a long time, and we, I've done camps with them and concerts with them. So yeah, it's been a great experience with them. Yeah. So even though it's your first, you know, lead role and it, it, let's you know the story Austin's told us a bit it's about a girl from the chorus who gets discovered and comes on mm -hmm. um, but this play was written a long time ago mm -hmm, yeah 1933 I believe uh, and yeah, it was made into an Academy Award winning movie mm -hmm. and uh, but have you watched that movie yeah I have it has like lots of different parts I mean they obviously had to change for the show mm -hmm. and they change it for each revival but I mean otherwise it sticks pretty close but, and it, we talk about revivals because it's a play that's done over and over again because mm -hmm. it's so good. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's, it's an amazing show. I mean, I'd love to see it one day on Broadway. Or be in it on one. Yeah, it's exactly. It's even greater. <laughs> so, but uh, one of the, the, you have to be able to sing, obviously, mm -hmm. and act, but dancing. Yeah, it's pretty intense dancing. It's a lot of tap. So, it, yeah, it's been really cool. And you're, you're a tapper? I used to be. I have lots of tough experience, so um, uh, it's kind of like putting on the shoes again and seeing how they fit, and it's all good. And lots of girls uh, and guys mm -hmm. are tapping with you, yeah. too. It's, it's, I, I went into a rehearsal one day, and I go, holy. Yeah, I mean, everyone's trying so hard. It's awesome, and I mean, we're looking good, so it's awesome. Yeah. And your choreographer is Stevie? Stevie Swimmer. Yeah. yeah. And she's pretty good at this? Oh, yeah, she's great. She's awesome to be with. Good. Now, Austin, let's talk about some of the, there's got to be some guy leads in this besides you. I know that you're important mm -hmm. in the whole mm -hmm. scheme of things, but who are some of the guy characters and people who are playing them? Okay, well, we have Omari Wilson as Andy, and he is our dancing instructor, and he's, um, he's supposed to be the guy that says, oh, that's not doing it right, and you're not doing that right, and um, we have Ty Nordic as Julian, and he is our director. He, he was a director, is he? Yeah, and uh, he uh, he's kind of like that stereotype, oh my goodness, if I say something wrong, I'm going to get fired. That is basically how you feel around him. You have to be standing on your toes, say something wrong, you will get fired, right? So it could get quite awkward. And uh, you've got Devin in there too. Mm -hmm. Devin Arams. He is our great looking young star all the girls are falling head over heel for him he's just um he knows he's hot stuff right does that affect you too yes definitely a little bit i mean he kind of sees me at the beginning because i don't know anyone and he definitely uses that opportunity <laughs> but there's romance in the story oh yeah and some of the songs are fabulous uh, musical numbers 
for for years. So, wh what are some of the songs that we would other than Forty Second Street mm -hmm. because that's obviously mm -hmm. one. What are some other? Um, Lullaby to Broadway is really well recognized. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, such a great big band song. I mean, I feel like people will be singing it after the show for weeks afterwards. Mm -hmm. What songs do you like, Austin? Uh, Lullaby to Broadway is my favorite because it's just. Ah, uh, you get to sing and dance to it, and it's just, it's it's an easy beat. And I really like the song that Dorothy Broxto and Rebecca does it, and it's called, oh, it's, uh, yeah, 42nd Street. That one's a good one. Mm hmm But I know there's other ones. And the music is by who? Uh, oh, come on. Uh, Big time musical person. Huge, huge. Irving Berlin and Al Dubbin. Well done. <laughs> Because Irving Berlin was, of course, a great musical mm -hmm. writer in the 1930s and 40s and 50s. Uh, so those are good things. So people will recognize a lot of the oh, music. Yeah. Uh, there's some nice ballads in there, too. Some oh, yeah, there's great ballads. In Who there. do you get to sing a ballad about or two? Um, well, C says it's the show in the show. Sometimes mm -hmm. you're singing, your character is playing a character, so you're yeah. singing from their character's perspective. Oh, yeah. So it's kind of tricky that way, but definitely you're still feeling all the emotions as an actor that they would be feeling. So one of the main ballads, though, was 42nd Street or Shadow Waltz, and there's, yeah, there's so many great ones. Yeah, that's all really good. Now, how big is the cast and crew of this, Austin? Um, crew is going to be quite a, I'm hoping a lot of yeah. crew characters, because well, it could get awkward. Manager, you better have yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, our cast is, uh, we have a great cast, great size. Um, could be big, bigger, could be smaller, right? Yeah. But uh, we do with what we have, and we are basically a big family when you think about it. Mm -hmm. Now the stage manager, I said you're the stage manager on stage, but backstage, you've got two of the best. So, uh, do you have uh, Miss Fellwalk? No, oh, Shaylin Day and Jessica yes. Fellwalk. They are probably to be the greatest ladies in the world. They are, they're sassy when they need to be, but they'll always crack a joke. They'll, uh, they'll tell you your line and they won't make you feel too dumb about it if you do say a line, right? But uh, yeah, they uh, they hold us. They are the glue. If without them, I don't think we'd be uh, too straightforward, would we? And you have Mr. Dirksen making sets, and I don't think you've ever had uh, Mr. Dirksen uh, before. You haven't seen him in no. his work. So, what do you, do you like the, the oh, way it's coming? It's, they're beautiful. I mean, I'm just so excited. Everyone wants to go up and just start acting around them, and they're just, oh, they're great. He's put so much hard work into them. Yeah, and, and it, like as we're working right now, and we're, one of the reasons we're down here in the drama room is he's up on the stage uh, hanging lights and, and uh, making things look really uh, nice for the set pieces. Mm -hmm. Now, production dates. We are performing on February 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. So three days. And those are Thursday, Friday, Saturday? Mm, they sure are. What time are you starting each day? 7.30. Oh, and, and where can you get tickets? Uh, Peacock Box Office, or you can call in. Yeah, uh, you can call in what number? 693. I don't know the rest. <laughs> I don't know the rest. <laughs> That'll be really hard to type on, the, on, your, on your keyboard. 693. 693. 4. 4. 6. 6. 2. 2. Six. Six. Very good, Austin. I thought I knew that one. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, of course, Mr. McKinnon, who is a veteran of many shows, is taking care of uh, direction here. Mm. He's uh, our basically our vocal director. Anything that has to do with the sound that is coming out of our voice. And he likes to throw in some notes here and there, what he thinks. Oh, maybe this will look good or something cool like that. But um, he's keeping us with tips how to stay healthy and how to keep our voice from not overloading and uh, he makes us sound pretty great. Yeah. There's a lot of musical things uh, and a lot of opportunities here. Like right now we're kind of skipping on a vocal jazz. Yeah. <laughs> so, but what other shows are you, what other musical groups are you involved with, Rebecca? Um, here at Peacock, I'm involved in vocal jazz, and I'm involved in the concert choir, and of course the musicals and one acts and all the stuff that Peacock has to offer. And Austin, for you? Uh, vocal jazz, of course. Uh, SGA, some once in a while whacked whenever they need the help. Uh, we have the musical department as one acts and musical and all that kind of fun stuff. Yeah, and it was uh, 
So there's a lot of fun uh, for you guys and a lot of hard work. Mm -hmm. Did your parents still remember what you look like? <laughs> yeah, they'll come and be like, hey, there you are, finally, you know, that's how it goes. Well, that's great. So there are a lot of future uh, things coming up, like the one acts, mm -hmm. and also, but the musical itself. Let's go over the dates and times for people so they can uh, uh, make sure that they get it in their minds of being able to come and see one of the Peacock musical production shows. Okay, February twenty first, twenty second, and twenty third at seven thirty. We are performing. Forty uh, second Street. <laughs> And tickets are available here at Peacock mm -hmm. or by calling 693-4626. Yes. <laughs> well done, young lady. And uh, people will enjoy a wonderful show of dancing, singing, and uh, really nice light entertainment. I know that you'll enjoy the opportunity to see it. So uh, cost is only $14 for adults, mm -hmm. and I don't know, seniors and students, they have a different price for them. Not too sure. Yeah. I'm thinking it probably would yeah. be a little bit cheaper. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, but you can call in and see that. Thanks very much for joining me today, you two. Thank you very Thank much you for having us. Much. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you soon on Moose Jaw this week. Opinions expressed on the program you have just watched are not necessarily those of Shaw Cable Systems or of this station. Through our access policy, we provide the opportunity for community groups and individuals to express their points of view. 